All right. More of my bullshit. So, this is a Benchmade 15008. It's my work work knife. We'll say I use this probably about anywhere between 7 to 10, 12 times a day at work. I'm an industrial mechanic, so I need tough stuff. I've had this for about two years, two and a half maybe. Maybe two, about two, a little over two. It's a nice knife. It's really, really sturdy. First, I kind of thought these things were a little weird, but they actually work great and they clean up nice. It's not all that clean right now. What is this? Sharp. This is sharp. Um, I probably had a sharp in it maybe about 10, 12 times. You know, I use this a lot. A lot more than I thought I would. I use this. Benchmade. 14 degree. Just a clean up. It's got this leather strap on it. So I work sharp. These are about 25 bucks. Super handy. Sharpen up quick. Uh, when I first bought this, I just kind of bought it because I was in a pinch. Um, it was. Uh, I think it cost me maybe like 100, 110 bucks. It wasn't super expensive. But I really kind of enjoyed the grip. I'm not too crazy about the color, but at the same time, you know, uh, in an industrial setting, it's very easy to find just in case I drop it or something like that. You know, it's very easily identifiable. This is very strong. It, it's nice. It holds its edge pretty well, but considering how much I use it, I've used this to cut, to cut uh, conveyor belts, uh, boxes, lots of boxes, um, labels, bottles, anything, name it, you name it. Typical workday stuff. This thing really does get the crap kicked out of it. I don't know if you can tell. It has. It's not. It's nowhere near being in mint shape. I just figured I'd bring it home. You know. I do. This thing gets dirty as hell sometimes. So I really, you know, I got. I clean it up with some, just some wipes. Wash it down. Keep it going. You know. Nice. Three and a half inch blade. You know. Fits my normal size hand. It's pretty good. What is this? S30V, typical, you know. Again, Benchmade Steep Country. Now, the thing I... I really like this knife a lot. A lot more than I thought I would. Again, I said, I hated. This is the cheap. And everyone has said it. Everyone. Everyone I know that has, has one of these has said the same thing. This is a super, super cheap, cheap freaking holster. It's Kydex, it's crap. I'm actually impressed that it's lasted me as long as it has, although I did zip tie it just to try to keep it from flopping around. And I've had to tighten these up, you know. It's not bad if you're not wearing it, but I wear this on my belt. This stays on my belt. All over the place. Sometimes I'm up on top of a, uh, a, a, a scaffold. Other times I'm laying underneath a machine. <clears throat> this thing gets dragged around. But it, it has held up. Um, yeah, not bad. So this is crap. This is fantastic. Now. So... I need a little something, and I ordered this. I ordered this. This is a. It just. It, this just came in, so I was actually kind of a little excited about it because it, it. It's really nice. This is made by Gromit's. Gromit's Leathercraft. Company I found on Etsy. I was just surfing, you know. I was trying to find a, a sturdier. Sheath. And, uh, man, this is it. This is beautiful leather. I mean, this is this is made by people that know how to work leather. 
this is tough. I'm, I'm probably never going to have to buy another one, realistically, you know. But if I ever do need to buy any type of leather sheath, this is the first place I'm checking out. It's sturdy as hell, man, you know. And I'm not some, uh, you know, sheath guy, leather guy. You know, this is, look, this is from one night. I wore this last night at work and it's already starting to see the the scuffs, which is going to add character. This thing will be tore up in about two weeks, you know. But it's nice. It's nice, man. Fits. It's it's still tight, you know. I got to break it in. Probably lay on it a few more times. Look at that. Slides right in. This thing is gorgeous. I'll give it to these guys. This is a little tight, you know. Again, I have to I'm still break it in, or I'm just not putting it in right. There you go. You kind of have to lay it on one side and snap. It does snap in very, very snug. So this is a lot more secure than this, you know. But realistically, you get a great knife. So all the money that you really spend is the knife, not in the holster. But you know, for 110 bucks, mm, I could have done better than this. This. This is where it's at. This hangs off my belt on the right side. You know, again, last night I used it probably about eight, nine times maybe. You know, this knife comes out a lot. This is, yeah, I'm telling you, I've, I've probably sharpened this edge, I don't know, more than a dozen times. Just running on that. You know, like I said, on this bullshit here. It's a nice piece. <sighs> really nice. So this is a great combo. You know, Gromit's Leather Craft, Benchmade Steep Country. They make them also for the newer model, Steep Country. You know, uh, this is a 15008. I, I, I feel like uh, this combo should last me years. Years, you know. And it's, you know, again, this thing was perfect when it came in but you know one night with me and it took that really nice Gromit's Leathercraft totally worth buying unfortunately I will tell you the only downside <coughs> is this is $90 90 bucks <coughs> this holster is 90 bucks but you do get what you pay for with these guys. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. Nice.